Welcome! In front of me is a Realme 9 Pro Plus and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now you can see that the phone I have right here is locked. So let me to draw the pattern to unlock it and obviously if I close this it will tell me to use the Google account instead. But assuming we don't know either of those I'm just gonna show you how you can completely get rid of this and not provide any of these informations. So to get started we're gonna back out to the beginning of the setup. Uh, that's usually where you would start. Uh, now in your case progress through it till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page which I believe should be right here. Yep there we go. Connect to your network and from there you're gonna back out again to the second page. This one. So select language. You're gonna tap on the accessibility icon of this like little guy and you're gonna enable it. Then you want to select uh, select to speak. Uh, we need to tap on this blue text. Now I want to mute it because it is a little bit distracting to me, but it's not a requirement. So once you have this open, as you can see this little page right here, uh, welcome to TalkBack, it will start reading what's in this highlighted area in the green. So in here, all you need to do is draw a mirrored L like this on the screen, then tap once while using the app, double tap on it to confirm it, then single tap use voice commands, and before you double tap on it, I'm gonna quickly just say what we need to uh, tell the device to do, because this will need to be uh, verbally told to the device. Now I'll also mention that if you're struggling with enabling this feature, uh, which I'll just say in a second, uh, you can play me back when I'm telling it to my device and hopefully this will work for you. But basically once you double tap on it, the device will start listening to you, you will hear a beep that signifies that it is listening to you, and you want to say open Google Assistant, uh, from there it will accept it with two more beeps, so one that accepts it and the other one that Google is now listening to. And once you hear the third beep, basically, uh, you want to say open YouTube. And that will open up YouTube and from there we're basically good to go with like doing everything manually as we always do. So I'm gonna do this right now and you can see and hear how to do it. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. And that's it. So from here, uh, once we have our YouTube open, you want to hold volume up and volume down at the same time. This will come up with the uh, turn on talkback shortcuts. You want to select turn on, then double tap on it, and then hold volume up and down once more. And now we can use our display normally. From here, we're going to navigate to the account icon, settings, about and Google Privacy Policy. Accept and continue and now thanks. From here, right at the top, you want to type hardreset.info slash bypass. Like so, if you need a moment to type this in yourself, do pause the video. And here, you're gonna scroll down to, no, after consent, we're gonna scroll down to settings. Then we're gonna start scrolling down in the settings to system settings, I believe. Yep. And in here you'll find backup and reset. You wanna select that. And then you wanna select reset phone, erase all data, erase all data, and again, erase all data. And this will now begin factory resetting our device. This process will take like a minute or so to finish up and once it's completed, we'll be presented with, again, our setup screen for the device. And at that point, we can set up our phone however we like. It will be fully unlocked, so yeah, it, basically once we press on that button, the process is finished in a way. Now I'm gonna let it run through and come back once it's finished, just so I can go through a quick setup screen, just so you can see that it, it, it did work, so. See you in like a minute. And as you can see, the process is now finished, so we can now quickly go through the setup. Now, I will be skipping everything that I can, but typically if the device is locked, obviously you cannot skip Wi-Fi connection page. It just gives you some kind of annoying pop-up or backtracks you back to Wi-Fi.
but here you can see that we just finished up the setup without any kind of problem. So there we go. Now if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.